Well, Joe Biden is weak on foreign policy. We all know this. But USA versus China isn't taking place here or in Beijing. It's actually happening right now in Africa. China owns all the mines. They're quickly building infrastructure all over that continent. And rather than entice these nations to do business with us, we're sending, as you see on your screen, our wokest warriors like Stephanie Sullivan to promote racial and gender ideology. It falls to us, this generation, to recognize the pervasiveness of systemic racism. And it falls to this generation to summon the will to make racism a relic of history. Today, once again, we face such a reckoning. The killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis five weeks ago. Now imagine you're in Africa. Who would you rather do business with? The country that's building all your roads and bridges or the lady that wants to hang rainbow flags outside the Capitol? Let's find the answer to that question because there is a vote taking place right now on the floor of the Senate over whether or not this should be the image put forward by the United States of America to Africa. Let's bring in the Senator from Ohio, J.D. Vance. Senator, thank you so much for being with us tonight. As I understand it, you just left the floor um, where this was up for vote. Let's get from you exactly how that's going and how this is going to help us to win over Africans in this geopolitical battle with China over global dominance and global influence. Yeah, well, I, I objected, and I think that it's important that we have a full debate in the Senate because we have a foreign policy right now, I hate to say it, from the Biden administration that's based on hectoring and moralizing, that's based on taking the most radical far-left ideas and basically building a moralizing foreign policy around that instead of trying to make a trade with people where they get something good and we get something good in return. It's a complete dereliction of duty. It's terrible for our foreign policy. And, and to your point, if, if you're in Ghana, what do you want? A lecture from a woke white woman in America, or do you want somebody to help you build hospitals, roads, and bridges? It's an easy answer. And the fact that we're sending so many diplomats to Africa and other places who can't answer the question the right way is really troubling. And we need to, at least in this country, have a debate about it. Yeah, and, and Senator, I think we already know it's not a hypothetical, right? We have we have already lost much of Africa to China and their influence and their roads and bridges and their allegiance among these African countries. And I would have to think, you know, woke ideology, you know, gender identity and gender fluidity and, and these types of issues, it's not exactly within the wheelhouse of these countries in Africa where they are very devout Christians and or Muslims. Uh, that's exactly right. I mean, they see this as cultural imperialism. The Americans are coming in and trying to force foreign values down their throats, whereas the Chinese are coming out and helping them with economic development. And yet, it's already having very negative consequences because a lot of the minerals, a lot of the resources we need for the 21st century economy, the Chinese are gobbling the stuff up through our diplomacy. And we're standing over here saying that you need to post the right flag outside of your embassy or you're not going to get full respect from your American diplomats and your American and so-called friends. Here's the really crazy part about this. If you step back and think about how important the American military is to our entire diplomacy, both the threat of American military power and, of course, sometimes the reality of American military power, do we really think that the majority of American troops are fighting and dying because they want the trans pride flag to hang in Ghana? Uh, of course not. And even if you disagree with me on the transgender issue, this is an American debate to be had in America, not to force it down the throats of other countries. Yeah, within the end, a cost to America. Uh, if China wins Africa, American can, we're on our way to losing the world. Uh, Senator, great so much to talk to you tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.